Hey guys, it's Tungle Croc, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, oh god, we got the Ocarina of Time back, uh, we did a bunch of other things. In this episode, we're gonna go talk to the Mask Salesman. So let's go. We got our Ocarina back, so we may as well talk to him, like Tattle said. But anyway, here we go. What's up, homie? I did not mean to say that. What's up, homie? I don't, it sounds like uh, Sly Fox Hound's intro. Sorry if you heard my... Microphone moving. Oh, oh, oh! You got it, you got it! I don't even remember his voice. Then listen to me. Play, Please play this song that I am about to perform. And remember it well. I wonder how fast I can do this. Wow, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. That's what not playing on an emulator with an Xbox 360 controller does for you. That was so fast, I would not be able to do that on the Xbox. But this is really cool. This song is going to be... It's going to be a song that we're going to be using a lot in this game. And as you can see, it heals your soul, right? And gives you the mask in return. So I think it's a very cool song, very, very useful. Uh, it's going to be used with a lot of masks in the future from here. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I'm sure it'll be of assistance to you in the future. Yes, it will, like I just said. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Oh yeah! And you can just see his face through the hole. The snot hole. You got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. Press start and set it to blah 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 blah. So now we get to inhabit the body of a Deku. Deku. See, I'm gonna change the pronunciation every time I say it, probably. Now I have a So please give me that which you promised me. Well, it turns out we weren't actually able to get that. Alright, sir. Sorry, sir, but we're not allowed. We're not allowed. We're not able. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? Oh, he just goes full kamikaze on us. What have you done to me? That's gonna clip. If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen! He turns into, like, an angry British man. <laughs> the mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. That's creepy. That's very creepy. I don't like that. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. What the heck? The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. Okay, that's Cray. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one know, really knows the true nature of the mask's power. That's a weird thing, because normally stories from are passed through the generations, but I don't understand how they wouldn't know. Even if there's no, like, descendants, you'd think that they'd tell somebody else. But anyways, I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask's mask when I finally had it. I could sense the doom of the dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. It's your fault. I'm begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. <laughs> will you do it? You will? Oh. I was certain you would tell me that. <laughs> he just, he's so, like, the movements he has are so sporadic. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. I believe in your strengths. Believe. All right, see you later, alligator. And a wild crocodile. <laughs> okay, so, now that we're back into normal form, that mask, that the Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. 
The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Yeah, it's good to know, but I'm not going over there. First, on our checklist for today, which we have plenty of time to do a lot of things right now, we're going to go back to the Great Fairy. Ah, but if we remember, we can't go to the Great Fairy yet because she's shattered. It's good to note that on the day, on each time you use the Song of Time, you'll have to get everything again. That means stray fairies, uh, you'll have to beat uh, bosses again if blah blah blah, you know, you can get treasure chests, anything like that. Except for your normal items, you cannot get those again. But as you remember, as I said yesterday, the fairy in this area is in here during the day and in East Clocktown during the night. Okay, so, ah, uh, another thing that I can tell you. So, if you play the Song of Time backwards, it will turn into the inverted Song of Time. And you can slow down time by half, which is very helpful. I'm going to do that every time I play. I don't even care if I need to wait for time, unless it's like, it's like five hours away. Uh, if I want to go to the next day, I'm just going to use the Song of Double Time which I'll show you in a bit because I'm going to skip through time uh, to do some other things. I'm not going to do as much as I can within the three-day cycle because I just feel limited uh, in that I'm going to do certain things that I can do in one cycle, skip that, and say if I want to do all of the minigames, I skip to the next cycle of three days, and then I do that. But anyway, here we go, back to the Great Fairy. Hi. Oh, Tattle and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of my gratitude. As my token of gratitude. Alright, this item is going to be... Okay, that's not the item yet. Yeah, as you can see, I still have my glitched magic power meter. That's going to be there forever, I think. That's one of the few glitches that you can get in the game. And I guess I was lucky enough to get it? I don't know. But scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. So yeah. Uh, this is the same as like the previous Zelda, like Ocarina of Time. Except you actually have to help the fairy instead of just uncovering its area and using Zelda's lullaby. Uh, this mask is gonna let us know if we're close to a stray fairy, and it'll also guide the stray fairy to me whenever I put it on. So it's very, 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 very useful. One of the most useful masks masks in the game next to the transformation masks. Okay, so now that we did that, the next thing we're gonna do is go and get another piece of heart and then talk to the bombers again. I wonder if I remember their... I wonder if I remember their, um, password. Maybe it's 34152? I think that's it. It could, I could be wrong. We'll, we'll check it out after we get this piece of heart. Which is a very, very easy piece of heart to get. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. And it's good to note that whenever you, uh, come back into this area from now on, there's gonna be a heart in that, uh, tree spot, which, eh, who cares? Eh. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the bombers and see if I can guess the code, if I remember it correctly, because it's going to make it a lot faster, and I don't really want to play hide-and-seek with little boys again, even though I can consider myself a little boy in this game. Just a little bit older than Young Link from Ocarina of Time. Alright, so let's see. Three, four, one, five, two. Yes! I did it! I got it! I remembered it! I didn't even write that down! Alright, so, we don't need to go back to the... 
We don't need to go back to the uh, observatory. We just need to go in and then out again. Because we're going to get something from the bombers because we're awesome. That's right. Because we're awesome. That's the only reason. Okay. And now the gang... Okay, I guess he just comes out. Hey, guy! You haven't passed my test. How do you know the secret code? Nobody but bombers know that code, so why do you know it? Listen, guy. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something. I like you. There's like a 1 in 5 million chance. I don't even know the exact chance to get that code, but it's pretty crazy that we got it on the first try. Without knowing it, wink wink. What's your name, guy? Wow, my voice just went really weird there. Moosey, huh? Alright, that skull kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. I'm making Moosey a new member of the Bombers instead. This is the Bombers Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. Okay. You got the Bombers Notebook. It allows you to keep track of people's schedules. Actually, I believe that I still have to go back into the observatory. So with this book, uh, there are 20 people that you can help throughout the game. And this is one of my more favorite um, things in the game because, you know, helping people, making people happy is a pretty cool thing to do in a game. Uh, so it's one of the more in-depth things in the game and I'm going to be showing you it through this episode and the next episode, I think. Uh, but right now, we're going to go all the way back into the observatory, actually. I actually made a mistake, so I have to go there and get another Moon's Tier. So I will meet you back uh, outside of the bomber's hideout once I get the Moon Tier. Okay, so now that we got the Moon's Tier, I'm going to uh, talk to this Deku again and get back the land title deed that I had before. This is going to be useful for a piece of heart that I'm going to be doing later on. Uh, so... Yeah. Dash good. Okay. So yeah, we'll just talk to him again. Notice he's wanting to save his wife, blah, blah, blah. We got the land title deed. We're going to be using this in the nighttime. We're not going to be using it. We're not going to be selling it to any other de Dekus or anything like that, like he suggests. We're actually going to be doing something very weird with it. But anyway, there goes my voice again being weird. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, since I have really nothing else that I can do right now in this one day... Let's go out and farm some rupees. Let's go see the best spots for finding rupees uh, right now. So, this guy, these guys are going to be a pain in your rear every time you try to go out on the first day or whatever. Uh, they notice I have a sword now, so I can go through whatever I want. Okay, this is Termina. Termina Field, I guess. One of my favorite overworlds in a Zelda game up to this point. My favorite, though, it has to be either Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. Uh, Skyward Sword is really good, but it just there's not there's not really much. That's just I I don't know how to say it. I just like Wind Waker or Twilight Princess because it feels more I don't know real I guess. Uh, if you didn't know, you can just spin your control stick around. And do a spin attack, but I'm I'm a little bad at that right now. Anyway, there's a treasure chest over here where we can get some rupees. Let's go to this. Okay, we got 20 rupees. That's very nice. Uh, you can do this every time on the first day to start like piling up on rupees, and I think it's what I'm going to be doing before I start recording every new cycle, because you're gonna need a lot of money in the bank, you know, all of them dollars for some things in the future. So as you can see this guy, he's only on the first day. So what you do to get him out of the tree is just knock him down and he's gonna drop 40 rupees. This is the guy that sat, was sitting on top of the um, roof in uh, Kakariko Village in Ocarina of Time. Hey, I stole that rupee from a crow. Don't go stealing it, man. That's really dumb of you, I don't care. Just because you stole it from a crow doesn't mean I can't steal it from you. <laughs> Another spot that we can go to is actually all the way over there. Um, this one I had a little bit of trouble finding like right off the start uh, whenever I was playing practicing on my other file. It's right now uh, let me just double check okay there is a these grass bushes right here they can have rupees it's Bushes aren't really the best spot to get rupees. 
So I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, there's another spot up here. With a bush as well. If my... Yeah, there we go. Draw distance is completely crap. Holy moly. Okay. You can normally get like a fiver in here. But I guess I'm not having that luck. Nope, I guess not. There are... It, now, in the fountains, there are another bunch of, uh, like, five rupees. Um, as well. I mean... It's good. It's really good. Uh, so I'm just gonna go get those and then head back to the bank. So I will meet you back at the bank. Okay, so now that we're back at the bank, we're gonna deposit all the rupees that we... We've gotten here. Which is really not a lot, but, you know, I'm not gonna take up all of your time just getting rupees. Uh, so let's deposit that, and then we're gonna play the song of Double Time to make it nighttime. Uh, so I'll show you it right now. I'm, be, I'm going to be using this song so much throughout this walkthrough. It's gonna be helpful because the way that I have my guide lay out in the way that I practice is that I do what I can when I can if I have nothing else to do at that time. I'll be going through temples, straight through the temples. I won't be stopping the temple to do something. Um, but yeah. Okay, so, now that we did that, I'm gonna go outside of town and over to the right here. I'm not sure if he's available right now. Available. Like, <laughs> oh god, anyway. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything else that we can do until he's available now? Okay. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go collect more rupees while... while I'm waiting for the guy that sits upon that... Mushroom? Is that a mushroom? I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, over here it's nice to note that if you play the song that's on this on this wall, rupees will come out. So, let's try to get it so that we can... Okay, so, you get 15 rupees. I mean, it's, 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 not, a, it's not a lot, but it's, it's enough, right? Uh, so I'm going to go grind more rupees so that I can get 200 rupees in the bank. It gives you an upgrade if you get 200 rupees. Uh, so I will meet you back at the bank whenever I get the 200 rupees. Okay, so now that we're back at the bank, uh, we're going to deposit the rest of our rupees. I've gotten 73 rupees, which will lead us a little bit over uh, 200 rupees. So, let's deposit it. Okay, so, 204 rupees. So now that gives us the adult wallet, which allows us to hold up to 200 rupees, which is really good. It's going to help us help us a lot. So, now that we got that, let's go outside uh, and see if the guy that is on the mushroom is back. Hopefully he is. I would love to have a chat with him. Discuss things, right? Are you here, mister? You're not here. Why are you not here? Okay, well... Is there anything else I can do? Yes, there is one thing I can do. So let's go back to the stock pot inn. We're gonna be, need to be a Deku to be able to do this. Uh, so I will be back at the stock pot inn. Okay, so now that we're back at the stock pot inn, the way that we can get through into the top area, I'm not sure if it's too like, I don't, I'm not sure if it's too late to go through the front door, but this is just another cool way to get in. Uh, we can just use that to get onto the top area, and this door is never locked. Ever. Hi. Bye. Okay, so. We're going to be going to the back here, what... And this is what looks like a bathroom. Okay, is something wrong here? Okay. I'm not sure if I... if something's going wrong with my game. I'm going to return the flow of time to normal, and I'm going to do the next thing then. Because as, I'm, as far as I'm aware, everything should be working right now. Because I did it... I did it on my other file. Uh, but we're going to go to North Clock Town to make sure everything's working properly. 
There is an event that goes on at 12 o'clock at midnight there that we do not want to miss. It's going to be... It's going to give a very, very nice item that's going to be useful from now on. So, I'm going to wait until 12 a.m. As you can see, there's a guy sitting behind here. This is the uh, guy that's going to be with the event. So, I'm going to wait until 12 a.m. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh... I realized what I was doing wrong uh, whenever whenever I was going to their areas. Apparently, they don't come out until after midnight. So, since we have this scene going on at midnight, I guess we can just go do everything after this. But, right now we're going to notice an old lady walking through the area. Kind of weird to be doing it at night. But I guess she can smuggle in some goodies or something at night? I'm not sure. But this is going to start like a... A cinematic sequence. And this guy's just jolly, all happy and stuff, taking candy from an old lady. Ouch, watch out! Stop, thief, give the old lady her luggage back. Okay, look at yourself, old lady. Call yourself old lady, that's kind of weird. But anyway, all we have to do to stop this guy is hit that, and he just goes along. He's like, oh no, oh no. And the guard, and the bomber men, like the bomber gang guy, there's two guys. They don't do a thing. Like, what a bunch of rude mingos. So, thank you. Since he didn't come off with, since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stock bomb ba bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put them out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. This is a really good mask. The thing with this mask is uh, you it, it explodes your face, but... You don't actually have to take damage. Uh, you can use your shield and press B to explode it at the same time, and uh, and you won't take damage. But anyway, now that we did that, I'm coming low on time here, but I think I can get these done within the next couple of minutes. We're gonna go back out to that spot and uh, see if the the guy that I'm wanting to talk to is there. So I will meet you there. Ah, here he is. He's here. I've been meaning to speak with you, sir. So it's very easy to get over here, just jump over there. And then, uh... We could talk to the guy, but we already know what we have to do. Normally with these things, you have to use the Song of Healing. So basically, his spirit is torn, he can't show other people his dance. Uh... You heal his soul and get a mask for it that... Is really cool. I, I I like it. I used to do this dance whenever I was younger and play the game. Oh. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Translation: I have taught it to you. Now make it into a popular dance craze. Okay. All right. We got Camaro's mask. This is gonna be useful for one thing and one thing only. One of the less useful masks in the game. So there we have his happiness in our book. So now that we did that. Let's get the mask ready and go back into the West Clock Town area, right by the post office. I will meet you there. Okay, so now that we're in West Clock Town, we're going to see that there's some people trying to dance here. They are thinking about dance moves, they have no idea what they want to do. So, just dance in front of them. See if that'll help them out. It seems that it is, with these funky dance moves. We've enticed these ladies and giving them what they need to create an awesome dance thingy? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. And then you have the guard over there watching. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> that's really weird, but that's true. It's so true. <laughs> Thank you for teaching us those steps. You are our master. That is very weird. We got a piece of heart. Oh yeah, we have one more to get a full heart container. And we're gonna be able to get that right now. So, let's head back to West or er, East Clock Town, back to the Stockpot Inn. I will meet you inside the Stockpot Inn. Okay, so now that we're back in the Stockpot Inn in the bathroom area, we're gonna go in here and notice there's a hand. What the frig? Why is there a hand coming out of the toilet? P -p -p paper please So, we're gonna give him our land title deed. Yeah. 
Yeah! I love that. He's like, yeah! <laughs> ho! You saved me! I ain't no ho. This... This fell down here. I'll give it to you. For some reason, there's a piece of heart. Somebody's... A piece of somebody's heart fell into the toilet. That's not good. They may have to see a doctor because of that. So, the question mark guy... Was added to our notebook. We made him happy. Alright, so there's one last thing that I want to do before I end this video off. I'm going to meet you in the area where we find the stray fairy at, at the daytime, so I'll meet you there. Okay, so now that we're here in the laundry pool, we're going to hear that... What's that music? That sounds familiar. It's the song of storms. Oh my golly, it's the windmill guy. Guru Guru is now here. He's going to tell us a story about how he got kicked out of his room at the end because his fellow performers needed their rest and he couldn't play. So yeah. So he was in an animal troupe and uh, yeah, apparently he's in it because a man is an animal. But anyway, he's gonna give us a mask that he stole from the leader. And this is gonna be a helpful mask uh, later on in the game as well as in this one cycle as well. It's gonna give us an amazing mask that we're, oh, it's just the best mask ever if you like to get things done quickly. But I'm just gonna show you what this mask can do. And this is my, I, I loved this whenever I was younger. So yeah, it basically turns you into like a marching band thingy-majig, a leader of a marching band. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, we still have many more to do in the next. Many more to do, yes. It, many more things to do in the next episode. We're gonna get some uh, more hearts and masks and other things like that. So be sure to check that out. Link is in the top right hand corner. We'll be coming out tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.